hello everybody welcome back to my channel today we're going to do a block that's called double pinwheel i have done this one before i don't really remember what size i did it in but we are going to do it in um for our red and blue not red and blue green and blue quilt so we're going to do this one a little different because i need all these to go the same way now i could make two of them but i only want one block so we're going to do them singularly so what we're going to do is we're going to take this. I just stacked mine. If you don't feel comfortable cutting them at the same time, cut them separately. Not a big deal. So these are both. Let's see. So the pattern calls for five and three fourths, but I hate. Well, I could have done three fourths, but I like to trim down. So I cut these. There's six inch blocks. I got one white and I chose one green. Six inches. Again, if you don't want to cut them together, don't. Just corner to corner that way. We're going to spin this. I guess i got to clear the space for that. Whoops. Spin it. We're going to cut it corner to corner this way too. This is different than the way I did it last time, so... There's that. I'm putting a new twist on it, I guess. So we are going to lay these out the way I need them. They need to all go the same way. And I want the white in the middle. So I'm going to lay them like this. All of them like that. See, I did that wrong already. Oh, no, that's right. Pull apart just like this and now we are actually going to sew this side so I'm going to turn this over I actually want the flat end here to go in first so I'm going to pin it on this side so what I did is I just laid them there with the long side here fold it over and then I want to start with this one so I just flipped it over put a pin in that one same thing just flip it over and flip it over again you could do it with the point going in first I just uh, don't want to flip it over and over again we're gonna hope for the best here I don't like doing it this way but I only need one block so this is what we're getting so let's head over to the sewing machine Is my camera crooked or is my mat crooked? There it is, I guess. I don't know. All right, let's go over. We're just going to slide these all through. I'm going to unpin it now because I don't really need it. It's not bad doing it this way. I just prefer drawing the lines down the middle and doing it that way. I guess it's good to try all the techniques, right? So I've added a border to my other blocks. I did gray with white cornerstones. I'm going to show you that on this one. And from each of these going forward, I do believe I might do it in the video. So it shows you. Let me get these off. Sorry, I switched it back too soon. Alright, let's cut them apart. Didn't mean to throw that one. Okay, now we're going to iron these open to the green. No reason, just what I want to do. I did go ahead and add the border to the other two. I will show you with that. And we're just going to, this quilt is going to be three, I'm sorry, four blocks wide by five in length. Because while it is for a four-year-old, I want him to be able to use it for, you know, a while. So you're going to make sure when you open this up that they all are on the same side. So if you have one where your green is laying over here, you need to redo that when you've sewn the wrong side. 
Okay, so those are done. Let's lay this to the side for a second. Then I have two, and these I believe are five and a half. Yeah, it called for, it called for five and three eighths, and I don't have time for that shenanigans. So we're just gonna line these up. And now I do have some to work with because I did cut it longer or bigger longer. I was grabbing my longer thing there. I guess I got words confused. So we're going to just same thing. Corner to corner we're going to slice it. Do the same thing here. I could pick it up and turn it but this is probably easier. I wasn't supposed to cut that twice. Let's start over. We need <laughs> two five and a half inch squares. I wasn't supposed to cut that twice. Y'all should have been like, no. You might have been. All right, we'll just start over. These fabrics are from Walmart. Just fat quarters. I uh I I have no issue with the Walmart fabrics. Well none yet. This also doesn't have to be completely uh accurate because you're gonna trim it down when you're done. So I can see that it's a little off. I'm not blind. Just so y'all know. There we go. Good enough. Well, let's cut one more. Now, let's iron it a bit. See, those other fabrics that I cut wrong, I'll use them somewhere on this quilt probably. And if not, maybe I'll make the boy a matching pillow. I like making pillows. I need a shelf right here beside me is what I need. Okay, so you're only going to cut this in half once. Let me set that up there for a minute. Corner to corner once. Again, I see they're not completely lined up. It's okay. I don't like working with that big roller here. Now, we're going to take these and line them up here. We're just going to fold them over. Peel them apart. And you're going to line up the point... I try to get my point to be right there, even with the, the seam. It doesn't matter. We're going to square it up, so it really won't matter. But I want to be somewhat lined up if I could. And since we're working on uh, the bias here, I am going to put a few pins in. A few more than one. We're just going to pin all those. Yes, I've never actually done it like this on camera before, I don't believe. It's not my preferred method, but it will get the job done, so, you know. Now, if you want to make two, you can go back to the other one, and it'll make two, but they'll go opposite ways. Which, you know, if you do enough, you can make two whole quilts. All right. Two more. Line them up. So me rounding up my uh, blocks will make a little math for me at the end. When I trim these down, I have to trim them down to make sure they're the right size to get me the right block. So if you're not good at quilting math, you know, that one might come in handy. 
I don't even know if this will work, to tell you the truth. I'm going to cut it all wrong. Just kidding, I didn't cut it all wrong. But there's no shame if you did. That's how you learn. Quilting math is uh, an acquired taste, we'll call it. You don't know it right out of the bat, probably, right off the bat, probably. All right, let's go over and sew these up. Now, to do that, I am going to pull this out a little bit so I can start down in. I don't want to start with my point. out of all my measuring uh, things this this right here this seems like it's my favorite so far if you haven't tried it I highly suggest you do use those other blue ones that I cut wrong and I could make one opposite with the blue where the green is and the green where the blue is so you can do anything with it don't uh try not to beat yourself up too much if you make a mistake it's really not that big a deal especially if you're trying out uh like the Walmart fabrics you don't have to buy anything expensive when you're starting out these do just fine And I haven't had anything fall apart yet. Well, <laughs> not from the fabric. My stitches sometimes come out. So we're going to iron these to the blue. Now our block is 12 and a half uh, unfinished there. Our actual block. So we need to take that and divide it by two which would be six and three quarter or six and a quarter, but then we have to add a quarter inch to each block to um, account for sewing them together. So what we're gonna do is trim these to six and a half. If you didn't understand that, I do think I'm gonna make a video on quilting math. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. So we need it to be six and a half. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up our Six and a half, so three and th three quarters. Is that what I want? I'm on the wrong side though. We're gonna line this up on the diagonal line in our three and three quarters. That's not right. Three and a quarter. It's three and a quarter, it's not, it's two and three quarters. Hold on, I'm gonna pause this video. I need to work this out. Well, y'all are not going to believe this. I made the block with the wrong sizes of patterns. I needed a 12 inch block, but I cut the block sizes for the nine inch block. So whatever, I will post the, the measurements for the 12 inch block, but this is going to be a nine inch block. So we are going to, maybe I'll just redo the video, but I'm going to finish this one anyway. So this one, we're going to make a five inch block. So we're going to line the two and a half point up right there where our white and our green meet. And we're going to line up the diagonal. And we're going to trim off these extras on these sides. Then we're going to spin it around and we're going to do the same thing. The diagonal, the two and a half. And if we line up those two, our five inch lines should be right on point with the, the sides of the block. 
Maybe I'll make this like a, a mug rug or something. That's a pretty nice size. I've been wanting to make one of those anyway. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Maybe I'll redo it. Maybe I won't. Maybe you're getting what you get. We both know I'm going to redo it to the right size so I have the right directions for you. But we're going to finish this anyway just for fun because I may never even post it. to the side one more I should have knew when I messed up the block the blue one that I was gonna just have to quit and come back goodness that's all right mistakes happen it'll still get used Okay, we're going to lay it out anyway. We'll make it a mug rug. So now we're just going to lay it out with our blue in the middle and our green in the middle. And there it is, a double pinwheel. You could do it with the white too, I think. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you could do it with the white too. So it really doesn't matter how you sew it as long as your spots are in the right order your white and green are in the right order because you could do it either way i do however want my green in the middle because i like it better so we're just gonna fold these over sew them down i'll take you with me i'm not gonna pin it though probably not even gonna post this video so we'll see You do have to line up your seam at the bottom of this one, right here at the bottom, but I can do that. And at this point, what does it matter if it doesn't match up? Grab my other two. This one, the seam's at the top. Match it up. Turn it into an ender. Where are my scissors? My goodness, I'm a mess. <sighs> Grab my ironing or pressing mat, whatever you want to call it. We're going to iron these open to the blue. Yeah, to the blue. Not even going to cut them apart because they're going right back together like that anyway. Maybe I'll just do this and skip this one on the quilt because I only want to make one of each to, uh, to show you. So this is probably going to be a mug rug. Probably not going on the quilt. My mistake, but it's okay, really. He don't care what blocks are on it. Let's go back over. Go back over and iron it open and see what she looks like. Oh, I do like it. It'll make a nice little mug rug. I've been wanting to do one. C 
seems like a perfect opportunity. There it is. A double pinwheel. That is now a muck rug. Let me know what you think. I hope you all have a great day.